So I got a new fire pit. Let me show you my new fire pit. That's my new fire pit. Well, it's still inside the washing machine, but that basket is my, my new fire pit. First thing I'm gonna do is take this motor out. It's a good strong electric motor that still works. So I'm gonna keep that, see what kind of fun project I can make with that. Motor's out. Big ass electric motor, power washing machine. I think I'll keep this little water pump too. That's the drain pump. We'll go ahead and keep it. And take this one out. Out. Good. All right, I got the pump out. Can make an evaporative cooling fan with this on those hot summer days just for fun. Nice. I'm gonna keep this capacitor too. That could come in handy. There we go. Yeah. 60 microfarads. Mm, need two hands for this. bit more to go all right let's get the vacuum in there all right I see a bolt I think we're free Yes, we are, buddy. There's our fire pit. Oh, there you go, baby. Things tight. Make it when it's tight. Look at that. Righty, Lucy. We're we're good. We're free. There we go. There we go. Come on. One-handed. There we go. Smells like detergents, delicious. Good fun, demo time. All right, so this turned out to be a bigger project than I expected. So this is supposed to be a fire pit, right? It's better than my old one, which I made from a washing machine also, but this one's way bigger. So what uh, the problem is, the bottom's fucking plastic. So I'm gonna have to knock all this out. It's crimped really, really, really tight right here, so I gotta break it out. I'm gonna cut a circle out of that metal right there. I'm gonna weld it on there. Then I'll bolt some legs and then we'll have a fire pit, but... Not as fast as just, uh, you know, bolting on some legs, but it's all good. That's why it's called a project, but it's gonna be fun when we're out there camping. There's nice, big, shiny stainless steel fire pit, all the air holes, so it's a nice fire. See the cuts? Sledgehammer time. On this one, I loosened up the crimps. So it's coming out a little bit better. Oh, look at some blood. I did cut my finger. And then my wife called me a savage. It hurt my feelings, though. There you go. So much. I like demo. go 
future fire pit. I'm gonna smoothen out those crimps and uh, the bottom of it it's gonna go right there just gonna cut it out weld it on I might put some uh, reinforcing uh, straps for the legs to bolt onto well I got a washing machine for sale if anyone wants it barely been used works like a dream just a little cosmetic damage right there I wonder how much I can get for it. Nah, actually I'm just gonna leave it out on the grass and let the recyclers have their way with it. There's a cat in my yard. Two cats. Ooh, it looks pretty muscular. If I feed them, they're mine. that one so lazy and sleepy all right so i just finished painting um 24 folding chairs so my buddy could use them for his kid's birthday party let me show you so this is my old fire pit it's also made from a washing machine and it's got the legs bolted on nice and solid we've used it plenty of times out in the desert camping for five days for thanksgiving and here's a new one the new one's big enough to fit all the way completely around that one. And has a bigger opening, too. So, um... I was thinking of taking off these, these legs and putting them on that. But these are so rusted, they probably just stay on that one. But th this thing's put in a lot of work. It's a great campfire. You can sit next to it and put your feet underneath and get toasty when it's 30 degrees. And this piece here is the part I cut out of the of the body of the washing machine, but it's kind of flimsy, so I might just use something else. See, I got this big quarter inch piece of sheet metal. This is solid, and it's heavy, and I use it as my welding table, but I might just cut off a piece of it like from here on and use that because it's nice and solid and I can bolt some legs to it or weld some, some legs to it. So I got all this scrap metal that um, was left over from when I built the gate. We well, got this real solid angle angle right here. That could be the legs. It's got plenty of that. So I'll uh, see what I do. But I also got to think about the weight of the thing, right? So. If I use this piece here, it would be a lot lighter than if I use the other one. But I need it to be strong because when we're burning all this wood, it's holding a lot of weight. But it does have supports on the bottom. Just need to make sure the weld would hold. Oh, I'm also cutting down this tree right here. This tree's coming down. It's half dead and it's just in the way and it doesn't give me a flat. Um, flat yard because it just lifts up the dirt all around and the roots are all far so this tree's on its way down another thing to consider is that on this fire pit the holes are closer to the edge here but not over here and I think I'm gonna make this the bottom because on a really windy day you don't want too, too much air on your fire so this will keep those uh, bottom coals with a good flame so now I'm going to do a test weld so I can get the speed and the wire speed right. Here we go. Okay, so this is what happens when the power is too high. It burns right through the metal. So time to turn it down. enough practice time to just get to it 
it's pinched in some parts, so I gotta get rid of the pinches. I'm kind of doing like that. Pop it out a bit so that it makes contact with the metal while I'm welding it. There we go. See this right there, just like that. Well, it's coming along now. Got it spot welded in place. I'm gonna cut off the excess all around and then grind it all down and weld it from both sides inside and out. And I'm gonna use some reinforcing angle iron all around too. And that's what the legs will bolt onto, something nice and solid. So I got it upside down. You'll see the weld penetration. And I'm gonna use some tin snips to shave it off a bit. Oh, look at that, it ran out of wire. No more wire. I'm gonna put a new roll of wire on. Man, that looks like someone that doesn't know how to weld, huh? All right, we're getting there. I shaved off some of the excess and I'm gonna finish welding up all around the inside and uh, keep it going. All right, I finished cleaning up the welds and this thing is solid. That's what it looks like up close like a ninja turtle solid and you're not going to cut yourself it's all cleaned up see no burrs just going to put the legs on now all right there's the three legs i cleaned up all the edges so they weld easier and better. And I got three marks, one, two, three. And I got them exactly 120 degrees apart by measuring the distance between them is 19 and a half bet between all three measurements. That's 19 and a half inches, 19 and a half, and 19 and a half. That's how you know that they're exactly one third of the way around the circumference. All right, it's finally done, but it came out good. Uh, that's gonna turn black after the first real fire and uh, well, that's what she looks like I like it Let's go try it out Bet you guys didn't catch the boo-boo I made See that <laughs> Yeah, after you start welding and you had it flip-flopped on there Too late to cut it off so welded on an extension but that's cool it gives it some character i guess shouldn't be uh that's why i shouldn't be drinking while i'm working but then again if i wasn't drinking then i wouldn't be working all right here's the before and after so that's my old one i mean i made that like three or four years ago it's put in a lot of work to this i like it it's an upgrade a little more classy mesmerizing I'm gonna go get some marshmallows right now it's whistling the branches are whistling I think this marshmallow is from like Michoacan because it's infused with coconut See if it burns like a regular marshmallow. Oh shit, it's already melting. <laughs> Yum.